morning. This is Adam Smith with the Colorado Real Estate Finance Group on Monday, February 2nd. I don't know where January went, but of course I'm here with your weekly zero cost marketing and contact management tip. Remember if you'd like more information about the free classes I teach on contact management, zero cost marketing, social media marketing, video blogging, don't hesitate to contact me or maybe have your managing broker or title rep do that as that seems to be how most of the classes are arranged. But it's great information for anyone who has a direct-to-consumer relationship like realtors, mortgage brokers, insurance agents, financial planners, and so on. And I'm always happy to share the information. Please also remember that we do now have a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. And if you are not but would like to be a top producer, 40, 50 plus transactions a year, GCIs in the six-figure range, let me know and we will talk about how you can modify and manipulate your current processes to get you there in a repeat and referral manner without spending any extra money. All right, so let's talk about this week's tip, and I promised I wasn't going to talk about the Super Bowl because I wasn't interested in the Super Bowl. If you had asked me my least two favorite teams I'd want to see playing that game at the end of the season, that probably would have been it, but here we are, and uh, I may have uh, misspoken because I want to talk about the Super Bowl, and really what I want to talk about is what happened at the end of that game and how both teams reacted, and I understand the frustration and so on and so forth, but we've got to do better than that in business. And make no mistake, that's what that game is. It is a business. Those guys are employees, just like a lot of you. And to translate that into trying to stay calm and patient and professional and classy when talking about real estate transactions. The example I came up with is actually kind of bleeding through our pipeline right now. We've got a client or had a client who just put me and my staff through the ringer prepping paperwork and documents and he's been under contract on multiple properties and at one point we could tell that he was looking at multiple avenues to handle his transaction. And despite the fact that he was looking at less qualified, not referred, more expensive options, he actually chose one of them and we said, no problem, good luck, hope everything works out with your house, which it didn't and he came back to us. And now we can tell that that process is starting again, that he's looking at multiple options and starting to put us through the ringer again. And rather than getting frustrated, rather than becoming impatient, we're in a position because of years and years of this methodology and building a repeat and referral business that we can say, you know what, we're sorry, we wish you the best of luck with whoever you decide to work with, but it isn't going to be us. And there's no harm in that. There's no, as long as it's professional, as long as it's patient, as long as it's cool, calm, and collected, and as long as you've been working hard to build a repeat and referral business, you're in a position where you can stay that classy, not work with people that are going to frustrate you, abuse you, sap your time and energy, and feel free to refer them out. So really, that's this week's tip, is that one, if you continue to work hard at building a repeat and referral business, then two, you'll get the option to stay classy, remain patient, step back and go, you know what? It really is a loss, but I'm gonna check it as a win because my time is that valuable. I have enough business that I don't need yours when yours is abusive, when yours is taking away from the rest of our clients. So that's kind of a rough way to translate what happened at the end of the Super Bowl into this business line, but take it with a grain of salt and hopefully you'll be able to get to a point where you've built enough of a repeat and referral business that you'll actually have the freedom to say to a client, 
I'm sorry, but you've either been rude or abusive or I'm simply not going to work for you. I have too many clients that legitimately want my help and appreciate it. All right. So let's talk about this week's drawing. And first, before I forget, let's mention last week's winner, Christy Smith in Roanoke. And Christy, thank you so much for watching. And your email comments were not only appreciated, but quite entertaining. And if you want to be this week's winner, then please, I implore you, first subscribe here to our YouTube channel. See that link down there that just says subscribe? Just click on that. One click, you're all done. And then second, make some comments down below. Now, we're not going to limit it to that. And like last week's winner, if you want to email us or respond on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or by text or by phone or however is most convenient for you, that's another video from way back, then by all means do that. We will select one of you at random to win this week's prize and send it out to you lickety split. Okay, so remember this week's tip. Build your repeat and referral business. Be professional, be patient, chalk your losses up as wins. Remember this week's drawing, make some comments down below. Have an amazing week, beginning of the week. Have a great month. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.